Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, just when we're getting used to the 60s, we top 80 today, and now we'll have the chilliest air of the season so far settling in by Friday. But then another warm-up next week that could take us back above 80 degrees. So it's kind of up and down that time of the year. But all in all, some nice weather here as we make the transition to October. Highs today, generally 80 to 85, including Greenville. They're still having some issues with the thermometer down there, but at least... They were cooler than their high of 134 yesterday, 117 today. I think they've got that issue fixed. But temperatures tomorrow should be about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than today. And we got another cold front through here. We're just a band of cloud cover. No rain, no storms, certainly. And we are moving into our secondary severe weather season. We've been prepping for that all week long. And tonight, we'll talk about what officially is a severe thunderstorm. What will cause the Weather Service to actually issue a warning? Because I'll often get a call as to why a warning has not been issued. Well, in order to get one, one of two criteria need to be met. You have to have hail at least an inch in diameter. That's about the size of a quarter or larger, or wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or stronger, which means you could have gusty 50 mile per hour wind, small hail, and even lightning crashing down continuously with heavy downpours, and you don't get a warning because lightning and the rate of rainfall is not even a consideration when it comes to uh, severe thunderstorm warnings. But those are the two important criteria. Unfortunately, we haven't had any of those uh, in a while, but we'll keep our fingers crossed here as we head into our secondary season. There's a live view from the east side of Evansville, and here's down Downtown Evansville and our Zemer Funeral Home Tower camera as that cool air continues to filter in after an extremely windy day. We had gusts of 30 to 35, even 40 miles per hour. We're 61 now. Look at the way the winds have gone calm. And that cooler air working in from the northwest where it's 54 in Fairfield, but still 71 in Dixon. So most areas still much warmer than we were last night at this time. We're 6 degrees warmer in Evansville, 12 in Henderson, 17 in Owensboro. But by daybreak tomorrow morning, we'll be very close to where we were today in the upper 40s to around 50. Northwesterly flow continues, uh, bringing these cold fronts in, keeping us cooler than normal, but at the same time, we are uh, not getting any of that Gulf moisture coming up from the uh, south, and that's keeping our rain and storm chances at a minimum. So Future Tracker, clear skies out to overnight, and then we'll have sunshine tomorrow increasing clouds as we head into the afternoon. A little second surge of cooler air coming through. Isolated shower possible. It'll be windy, much cooler. Upper 60s to around 70. Forecasting 69 Evansville, 70 Henderson, 70 in Owensboro. But behind that second front, we fall down into the low 40s by daybreak tomorrow night, or Friday morning I should say. And then Friday will be a partly cloudy day and even cooler. Upper 50s to low 60s, though fortunately not all that windy, but a chilly week 7 for home team Friday. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s by the time the games are over with. We'll be around 40 to start off the weekend Saturday, which will feature sunshine in the morning, giving way to increasing clouds in the afternoon and a few showers coming in from the west later Saturday night. So overnight tonight, clear skies, upper 40s. Tomorrow, sunshine giving way to increasing clouds. A windy, much cooler day, 66 to 71. But it gets even cooler than that on the seven-day forecast. Friday, partly cloudy and a high of only 62. We start the weekend at 40 degrees. Saturday, a high of 62 with increasing clouds, but a dry day. Sunday, rain chances coming down with all the latest guidance today, but still a good deal of cloud cover, maybe giving way to a little sun in the afternoon. A few showers moving through, but best chances will be in the morning. Still a cool 65 for the high, and then temperatures rapidly warm back to normal this week, as, or next week, as we probably push 80 degrees by next Wednesday or Thursday. So 60s and 70s on the way, and you know, a year ago today, Brad, we had a high of 95. We're in the midst of a, our hottest weather of the entire year as we moved into early October. And I had just forgotten about that yeah. 95 degree heat yeah, last year. We'll take this for sure. Thanks okay. a lot, Wayne.